Greetings, my name is Jay, and welcome to yet another unboxing. Today I'm going to be unboxing this. It's a product that I got from Stone Age Gamer. It is actually the Ultra CD backup uh, cart for the Sega CD, uh, Sega Mega CD. And uh, the reason why I got this was because I kind of have a problem. I've got all these Sega CD games that require memory blocks. The system only has 200 blocks or 180-ish or something like that. And the actual backup CD-RAM cart, the official one, costs 50 to 60 US or close to 80 to 100 Canadian. Uh, so I bought this. It was uh, $45 US plus shipping. Uh, so it's about the same price effectively, and it's effectively four memory uh, Sega CD uh, RAM carts in one. So I decided to go this option instead of going the official route because, well, I don't really want to have to pay for a bunch of different memory cards whenever I want to retain all of my save games because I just like keeping old save files just the way I am. Uh, and so went with this option. Anyway, without further ado, let's go with the unboxing. I'm just going to move the camera here to so that you can see. And, uh, sorry, try and get rid of that glare a little bit. And, uh, let's start unboxing. <coughs> I really, really like the, uh, tape that the company uses. It's got a bunch of logos and is advertising their EverDrive carts. Uh, might get one of those in the future, but I'm not really a huge fan of, uh, emulation, even if it is hardware emulation, but... You know, testing games out before you buy them is... Everybody does it. I do it. Uh, and that might be a good way to go. So I know how it actually plays on the console, how it sounds. One of my biggest pet peeves with emulators is they sound wrong. Um, but they are getting better. Anyway, so here we've got really, really great bubble wrapping. It'll be fun to... Uh, sorry for your ears. Uh, get some use out of that later. Uh, there is only, let me get that out of the way, uh, there is only one option for this. I think they used to do a different option where it didn't come with the label and the nice case and stuff like that. Uh, I still would have gotten it with the case uh, if there was an option of just doing the cart. Uh, and yeah, again, I got this from Stone Age Gamer. So there's the actual case and what it looks like. And uh, here's the actual... Uh, image of the actual product, and I'm surprised there's no manual. That's a shame, but to be honest with you, it's probably extremely easy to re uh, use. i um, not sure why this isn't wrapping and wrapping. I would say that's a waste of plastic. Uh, get rid of that. Alright, and here's the memory card. That's pretty much all there is to it. It looks just like a Sega Genesis card. Uh, if you don't have any Gaming bits, it's actually just a Philips. See that? And, uh, well, does that say anything special? No, it's just a gold label that tells you what it is. So you can actually open this. It's got a 3 or 4, uh, four volt battery in it, so it's probably easier to replace than the actual uh, one inside of the um, Sega CD backup cart because I'm pretty sure, if I understand correctly, it's soldered in, and I, I don't know if this one is. Oh, probably. I don't have my screwdriver here. Anyway, uh, with part two of this video, I'm going to give it a test and show its functionality. And I guess we'll see you in a moment. All right. Well, again, uh, I just wanted to take one moment to actually show the battery. Uh, it's kind of neat. It's, uh, this isn't the battery, obviously. Uh, but the motherboard's red. That's kind of cool. Normally the green. Uh, so it comes off easily, like I said, in the last segment, and it actually has a battery holder. I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see it. Uh, you can just slip that out, and it is a 3-volt lithium-ion battery, the same kind, similar anyway, uh, the CR3450. Uh, it says on the actual motherboard what to replace it with. Sorry, that's not focusing. Uh, and uh, camera has problems with focusing really closely. Uh, that's really, really cool. It just slips out, and uh, I'm not going to do it, but you just push down here on the bottom, and it'll slip out, and uh, focus camera. It'll slip out. I can feel it moving, as you can see. There you go. And it's really, really easy to replace. 
I wish that all gaming carts actually had this because to solder them out and in, I've done it before. I'm, I'm not bad at soldering, but it's just annoying. Uh, I think I'm going to look for these. So if anybody knows what kind of holder that is, I would really like to know. So if you do know, let me know in the comments below. That is really, really cool. I might even email the company and ask them if I can't find out uh, easily from a Google search. And if I find out, I will put it in the comments down below. Um, having a lot of Nintendo and Super Nintendo games that take batteries and ordering batteries by the tray to replace them every... Uh, I've been doing it every five years. I know they last for I, they last for 10, but sometimes they don't. Um, this is going to be a really good option. Hopefully I can actually go forward with that. Anyway, I'm going to put the cart back together and then we'll show you the functionality. Alright, so let's take this thing and plug it in. Um, I think you can actually plug these in uh, after the system's turned on, but it is a cartridge. I know memory card's kind of hard to, uh, and I tested it and you can do this, but I like putting the cart first. Uh, and uh, let's readjust the camera. Give me a second so that it is pointing at the screen. I will give you my view. Hold up. Ta -ta. Turn the system on, and uh, it actually reads it right away. Um, but I didn't put in a disc in uh, for the game to articulate a point. If you have a disc in uh, on this uh, screen, press C, and it will boot up into this menu. You'll notice that I actually I can't do anything. If you lift the tray and then close it, you'll be able to go here, but you still can't go up to access the memory. The only way to do that, you know, uh, lunar here, uh, and then close it, the top menu will open underneath the Sega trademark logo. And uh, you can either go to the CD-ROM, uh, play the music, or go to memory. And here you'll see that you have the built-in memory and the memory card needs to be formatted. And that's important because uh, all the memory cards need to be formatted right um, before that you use them. So I'm going to do that now. And uh, so we're going to press any button and we are going to, you can format that, but I have like some save files like Sonic CD and stuff like that. Uh, so format the RAM cart. It's complete. It's just like that. Okay. Um, just going to redo this part to articulate. Um, press C. I have a game disc in, and uh, just so you can actually see what I'm doing, where I had the camera before, it just wasn't focusing. So if I go down to memory, you'll see that I formatted the memory card and I have the system memory uh, on the top. So if I press any button and I go to erase item, I can, oh, there's no items on it yet. So let's go back, go no, uh, copy to RAM. And if I select my lunar file, <coughs> I can copy it over and it is complete. So now I can go over to the RAM cart and see that it's there. If I were to go to erase this, it is now gone. See, uh, and copy from RAM to the system. And now I can use that save file again because it's actually the console that some, at least this game runs it off of. And uh, there you go, it's working. Okay, and there you have it. Functionality is really simple. It's pretty much foolproof. It works just like any other memory card, uh, except that you should probably plug it in before the console's turned on, uh, just because it might accidentally wreck it. I don't really know. There's no suggestion to do that or not to. Um, and I'll be able to now keep all my old save files, so I'm very, very happy. Yeah. Uh, four memory cards for the price of one? You can't really go wrong. I'm not really sure why I haven't gotten, I didn't never got this before. I was always looking at the official ones and I decided why not finally try this out? It's the same price. I'm extremely happy with this product. Whenever I go ahead and beat Lunar uh, in the next few months, hint, hint, 
uh, and I get over to Eternal Blue, I won't have to delete my save file, so that makes me extremely happy. Uh, in case you're unaware, the console itself can save barely any games. Uh, effectively, you can save a Sonic CD file, Jurassic Park, and Lunar, and this is just some games that I own, and no more memory is available on the actual system. You've got to delete something because Lunar takes effectively almost the entire memory card. So if you do that, you can save like one or two other games. So having this whenever you get over to Eternal Blue, if you don't want to. It, some people it doesn't bug, but me it does. Anyway, that's pretty much it. See you next time. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more content, uh, be sure to subscribe. Uh, there will probably be more unboxings in the future. Anyway, see you next time. Have a great day.